Hi, I'm Miss Bolin. I'm your art teacher for today, and we are going to be doing a super fun project. Uh, it's watercolor as well as doing a silhouette in the front, so it's a mixed media project. And it's based on the Sonoran Desert landscape. That's out in Arizona, and I'm lucky enough to have gone out there. It's totally beautiful, and um, it's amazing uh, landscape doesn't get much rain, it only gets seven inches a year, and even with that, it has just a myriad of animals and cacti and all different kinds of plants that grow there. So one pl plant that grows there, a cactus that is my favorite cactus, is called the saguaro cactus. It's the tallest American cactus. It usually grows to about 25 feet, but there was one that was a record breaker that was 59 feet tall and they can grow to be, to live as long as like 200 years. And I like them because they look so friendly because they have their arms up and it looks like they're waving hi. And those arms are really important because they help them store water. And like we just learned, they don't get much water there. So um, they're an amazing, amazing plant. And we're gonna use them in our art project today. So if you look here, you can see the finished project. Um, we start out by doing a really beautiful sunset painting with watercolor and then we are going to draw out a desert silhouette and you put it over the top and look how cool that looks. Okay, so like I said, the first step is the watercolor. Um, I like to think about different sunset colors. Sunset colors are what we call warm colors. Warm colors are often reds and pinks and yellows and oranges as opposed to cool colors, which I think of more watercolors like blues, greens, um, purples, certain purples. So, but like I said, today we are doing um, warm colors. So, I'm gonna dip my paint in the water. Going to start with a red and just start my sunset. I like to use a lot of pigment, a lot of paint in my watercolor. I like nice, vibrant colors. Some watercolorists kind of do like this where they just have a lot more water and have it really faint, and that's one style. It's just not the style that I like to paint in. So I'm gonna go ahead and paint my sunset. They have just gorgeous, gorgeous sunsets out there. And you may live out in Arizona and you get to see them all the time, but I've only got them to see them a couple times and it's something you'll never forget once you see one. Okay. So I'm painting this. I don't want to just do strict stripes across because that's not what sunsets are like. They're much more organic. They're flowy. The clouds are kind of undulating and wavy. And that's what I want yours and also my sunset to look like. So I kind of start with one color. I started with the red, but you can choose any warm color that you like. Taking it across the page. Next, I'm going to switch to an orange color kind of an orangey red color. I'm gonna bring that in. And since I don't want there to be like a major delineation of line between the two, I'm gonna bring it right up into the other color that I just did. So it flows really nicely. This is already starting to look a little bit like a desert sunset. So, um, like I said, we're kind of kind of blend one color into the next so we don't have that really strong delineation between colors. You want it to flow just like you see the sky in a sunset. So I kind of switched to an orangey red from the first red. But any colors are do. Maybe you want more pink in your sunset. Maybe you want a little bit of yellow. I'm going to talk about that in a minute, though. So here we go. We're painting. We're painting. Am I rushing? No, I'm really taking my time. I'm trying to do nice strokes. I'm not doing scribble scrabble. I'm doing my best effort and I'm taking my time because you can really tell the difference. Okay, I'm gonna add another color now. Move on to this bright orange. It's so fascinating to me that there's so little water there, and sometimes you think about the desert and just think nothing could live there. There's no water, and it's just full of sand and rocks, and there's all kinds of animals that have somehow adapted to live there. And it's 
pretty cool. So, all right, so I've gotten some orange here. I'm gonna add some hot pink. It's not looking quite bright enough, so I'm really gonna add water. I'm gonna press my paintbrush in, being careful of the bristles, but really working the water into the watercolor cube there. Okay, now we're getting some pink. Okay, so I said to you that I was gonna talk to you about the yellow because one thing I like to do when I'm doing my um, sunsets is to kind of leave an area for the actual sun. And what I like to do is I get the yellow. I'm gonna hold this down. So I get the yellow, make sure I have a lot of color on my brush and I paint kind of like an eye shaped, a football shape. Fill it in with a lot of color. And this represents the sun to me. And then you just kind of filter, not filter it out, but feather it out to the sides and bring some of the other colors you've been using up. Kind of surround it. See, I just think that's a really neat effect and it leaves no doubt to the fact that this is a sunset. And here's your sunset. And I always like to put it really low on the horizon. The horizon is where we see in the sky. There's the land, there's the sky, and the horizon line is where the mountains or the ground actually meets the sky. So I like this to be right at the end of the day so it is meeting the sky. Okay, I go ahead and I paint all the way down. I'm gonna take a break, finish up the background because I don't wanna go too quickly and rush through it. And when I come back, I'm going to talk about doing the second part of the project, which is drawing and cutting out our silhouette. So I'll be right back. Hi, we're back. I went ahead and finished the um, sunset background, and I hope you have too, because now we're going to move on to the silhouette that we put in the front. And because this is a desert landscape, we are going to do a silhouette of some cacti. And I'm going to choose my favorite cactus, which is the saguaro. And so we're going to be thinking about this as a linear um, silhouette. We want it to cover from left to right the whole way. Um, you can choose how many cacti you wanna do. I'm just gonna do two and some hills and mountains because I don't wanna cover up the entire beautiful sunset that we just did. So let's try and keep that in mind as we're doing it. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and start over here. We're drawing it in pencil first and just kind of come with a hill. And then I'm gonna do my first cactus, come up. Remember they have those great arms that are waving and saying, hey, what's up, I'm over here. So come up with the cactus. I often think of them as having one arm and then a middle and then another arm that's branching off of that. And then maybe a rock here coming down. And then I'm going to do my second cactus. This one, I try and make it look a little different, but I'm still probably going to do the three arms. Well, the two arms and then the middle one. And then what I like to do is I like to have it kind of come off the page like that. That's something we talk about in art, one of the art elements uh, that makes a picture, any kind of painting or drawing or collage that you're doing, if you have elements of your piece that continue off the page, it just adds visual interest. So let's go ahead and do that in this project. Okay, so you've made your cactus. Um, if it's not exactly what you were looking for, go ahead and erase. Try again, try again. Just go ahead and keep working on it till it looks like what you work on, till it looks like what you're hoping for. Next part is cutting out. Take your time with cutting. People, no matter their age, often this is where it stumps them. Don't be afraid. You always have to take your time. Don't be afraid to turn the pager, paper as you're cutting. Am I cutting quickly? Nope, I'm taking my time. I'm turning the paper, especially because we have so many curves in our silhouette that we've done here. We don't want to cut off any of the arms of our cacti. 
So I'm turning and I'm cutting. And it's going to be fine if you don't cut exactly on your pencil line because it's really not going to show up and we can of course flip it over to the other side where we won't see it at all when we attach it to our sunset which is drying right now. Okay. So I'm turning and I'm cutting. See, even I'm having a little bit of trouble because there's such tight, tight turns on this. Okay, coming back down, coming around, I'm going to put in my little rock that I decided to draw. Time for my second cactus. Back up. This one's a nice, tall, skinny one. Another thing that's really interesting about the saguaro cactus is when it does rain, they have these little um, spikes all over them. They're not someone, even though they look so friendly, you would never want to give them a hug. But when it rains, they just swell up. They turn into these giant barrels, and that's how they stay hydrated for the rest of the year until it rains again. They take advantage of every drop of water that they get. Sometimes it's helpful if you're doing a lot of turning, you know you're not going to need this, cut this part off, put it in your recycle bin, your scrap bin for another project. Then you can get in here easier to do the other turns. Okay, I'm turning, I'm taking my time. Okay, mine isn't quite dry yet, but I'm going to go up, and I'd like you to definitely wait until yours is dry, but let me show you how this is going to look. I'm going to put it up here. Look how cool that looks. It totally looks like nighttime, right when the sunset is going down in Arizona. This is how it would look from where you were standing far away because this is in the foreground. You would only see the shadows. You'd only see the black outline of the desert landscape and then you'd see the gorgeous sunset in the background. So I hope you enjoyed this project. I really enjoyed teaching it to you. Uh, make sure you check out my other free art lessons online. Again, my name is Miss Volan. I'm your art teacher for today. Hope to see you again soon. Thanks so much.